look. Yep, I had to go and check. My microphone, my headset suddenly just ran out of juice. Hence why I had to uh, end, end the stream and just make sure uh, what was working. So hopefully um, everything's fine now and you can hear me. So I will check my microphone settings quite a bit. Yeah, everything's fine at the moment. So uh, luckily I managed to find that pretty quickly so you didn't actually miss much what I was saying. Uh, I could have ended up chatting for another 20 minutes and realised the mic wasn't on. <laughs> That'd be a bit embarrassing. But anyway, here we're going to part two then. So we ended up doing this in two parts. Um, so let's, we're at Zumbru, we're just looking at a smaller side compared to say Mike's side at Man United. You can see they've got 25 players, they've actually quite, got a quite a decent amount of players, that's a really good start then if you ever want to come here. Uh, they've got, but mostly they've got defence though, and out of their 25 players, 9 are defenders, so you probably would prob not need to get many more defenders, you need more midfielders and attackers, I guess. Um, so yeah. That's not too bad. So I will explain to you um, some of these uh, screens you can see and some of these icons, what do they all mean? So the first thing is you notice little stars. Now big stars means they're the star player of your team, which means they bring in merchandise. And for a small team like Zumbru, if you've got some players with stars, that could help you if you're any financial problems you might get because uh, when you um, have a game, you only have a limited amount of money. And so any bonus of any money is a good good way of doing it is to, and a good way of doing it is to bring in some people with stars. So the stars do vary, uh, like this guy here is a massive star because his star is quite big. Then you've got this guy here who's not so big, but he's got a smaller star. So that is uh, that's good as well. And uh, you can see both these players are rated over mean as well. So yeah, let's go, let's go and click on their star player and let's have a look at what he looks like. So again, you just click on the name and you get the main stats. So obviously the first thing you see is his picture, which means nothing in this game to be honest with you. And then you've got the name and then the brief description of what that player is. It can give you various little stats. Um, you can see the server is slow because it hasn't loaded in the flag. He's actually a Moldovan international. There we go. Oh, it hasn't actually got the Moldovan flag. Never mind. Um, yeah, 12, 12 appearances, 5 goals. So he's doing pretty well in Moldova. He's only 20 years old, so he'll probably be a international for quite a while. He's actually pretty decent because straight away I can see his secondary stats are all over, all over 65. So this is not a bad player, actually. You can see why he's an international. So obviously you've got playing for where his club contracted, the how long the contract. So his contract is due to end actually this month, surprisingly. But I'm sure that his contract has been renewed by the AI. Uh, undisclosed, contract clause is undisclosed. You don't see that unless you're the manager of that side. It could be big club clause, free and relegation. Transfer status, he's not on the transfer list, so not for sale or loan. You can be for sale, transfer listed, you can be listed for loan. Or it can be both. You can be transfer listed and listed for loan. Estimated value, we've talked about already. Weekly wage, that's self-explanatory. Position, midfield, attacker, central. Release fee, so basically um, you get a release fee that comes up here. Um, for players, I think, over a certain age, he's still got 759 days. So teams could go in, for instance, and look at his release fee and put that as a transfer list offer and sometimes the side will agree to um, let him go for that price sometimes it doesn't always happen and then you've got the country where he's from his birth date as well and own product now it's blank which means that um, he is a he's he's started off at this club sometimes you have a team name here which means he was bought from that club now info, this is the info screen. So games and ratings, so naught of naught. He, so he hasn't played any games yet. Uh, so you could have, he's played 10 of 10, which means he's played in every league game. Or it could be 10 of 20, which means he's only played in 10 of 20 league games. Goals and assists, self-explanatory. If he gets an injury, that comes up there and tells you how long he's been injured for. And then of course you've got your player skills. Keeper, keeping skill, tackling, passing, shooting speed, control, heading, dribbling, flair, aggression, and stamina. Then his form, what form he's in, and what morale is. And then these are the main basic stats for the season only. 
So Moldova National Division, so that's the main league he's in. The Cup, the Champions League, the UEFA Cup, Toto Cup. Again, Toto Cup is featured here and the national team. And if, then if you get any um, yellow or red little boxes here, that means they have been, if red means he's suspended, yellow means if he gets booked in his next national game, he's going to be suspended for the next one after that. Now up here you get the stats. Stats shows you what he's been doing the past few seasons. Has he been doing well? Has he not been doing well? And you could um, click on all these previous seasons to see how he's done. So this already he's played a lot of friendlies and he's actually done really well. Five matches, average rating 6.6. .6. Ratings go from, as in Football Manager, 0 to 10. Uh, total minutes he's played 430 minutes, average 86 minutes. So most of the time he's been he hasn't been substituted. He's been there playing. He must have been substituted at once because the average would have been 90 if he wasn't. Then he scored three goals. And you can see here he's played. These are the games he's played in. He's played 92. Ah, oh yeah, there you go. There's the game he was substituted in because he he had a bad game. So ratings vary again from zero to ten in the game. So ten is rare, but you do see a couple of tens. You see nines, eights, and sevens quite often. Six fives means he's not been doing well. Anything below five, he should be taken off, basically. So here you can click all the seasons. Now history, we've looked at history briefly before. History means what his, his history been since he's come into the game. So we'll wait until that loads up. Hopefully it will load up in a minute. If not, I'll do it again. Let's click it again. There you go, here's the history coming up in a minute. Again, the server is a bit slow today, so it should be a lot quicker than this. Uh, so he's been at this club because, again, it's uh, the own product. So he was a former youth player, and he's already played one, two, three, four seasons at the club. So it gives you, at the end of each season, tells you how many play games you've played, how many goals. These are just league games, does not include the cups. So he's done pretty well. So we go back to this the side's main info screen. Now this is a screen you always will see when you go into a club. You'll see some basic stats here. So it's not managed by human because if they, he was managed, if this team was managed by a human, you'll see a human name there. Uh, level requirement, uh, important team events, press releases. As a human manager, you can put in a press release if you want to. Uh, match replays. You can even watch the game in a match replay. We'll talk about match games later. Then you've got the icons up here, fixtures, players, info, staff, stats, history, press release. Now fixtures is all the fixtures of the club obviously is going to play this season as the season's not started yet. Um, they've only played friendlies and, but there you go, there's the divisional matches. Now as a human manager, you can set tactics for all league games all in one go if you want to. I advise you to do that. Uh, that saves you a lot of bother. Just like, for instance, if you are busy doing something in real life and you missed your game, then at least the computer will try to play that formation that you asked it to. Uh, one major difference from this game to Football Manager is you don't actually see a full game. You get a match report after the game has ended, and a match report looks like this. So let's go and click against their game against Glenarvan, who are a Irish Northern Irish side. Well, Simbru lost 5-1. And you can see, this is the match report. So this is what you get after each match. So obviously formation, ball possession, shots attempted. So Glenarvan only had shots, 12 shots on goal, but five of those was goals. And then you can see who scored all the goals for Glenarvan. And Cruiser actually scored a goal for Zimbru. But you can see here that Zimbru did not have a good game. They had two players sent off. So these players got booked. And then these two... Tucker and this guy here both got sent off at these minutes so they were actually nine men for the last 16 minutes and that's probably why they conceded two more goals. So you get the little report of what happened in the game. I normally don't really read all this um, but we could find out say in the 42nd minute why was this guy sent off. Uh, so it'd be along here. Yeah. Pass to Wilbert, like, tries to tackle well, but the referee had enough of and shows him the first, the yellow, and then the red card. Oh, yeah. I think it's a bad tackle then. So that's that's the match report. So you get that every time a game's played um, in the cup and the match, and, and also the international trophies. So, and then you've got players. The player screen is what you've seen already. 
is um, all the details of all the players. So let's go and there you go. Info was that first screen you saw. Info of the club. There you go. And then staff. Staff is all the staff at your club. So um, scouts, coaches and physios. You can send scouts over to other countries to check other players or their transfer list players or free transfer market. And they will come back saying who they think are really good players who you should be able to um, buy. But if you've got a pretty not highly skilled scout, um, don't always trust what they say, basically. Sometimes you being a scout yourself is probably the best way of doing it. And then you've got coaches who can, you can coach players on various skills. We'll go f through that later. And then physio who will try to heal your side. Um, I can only do this really when... I, when you're a human manager of a side. So I'll probably go into my side and show you what you need to do on that. Stats. Again, stats is not a screen I do look like too often. This shows you where your position shows you during the season. Obviously, the season hasn't even started yet, so this is very blank. But say during the end of the season, you can see where this side had performed in the league. So it could, you know, line chart, it could go up and down, stuff like that. The history, history of the side. This side, I don't think it's ever had a human manager. So you can see what's happened. Uh, so they've been runners up two seasons, seventh, fifth, and sixth. Uh, they sold one player to Real Betis, Toca. That's oh, they got him from Real Betis, sorry. And then they sold this guy. So yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty. They've actually invested into two the two top players. Actually, one of them they got on the free transfer. Ah, Ito was on the free transfer. Nice. So if we click on Ito, let's see what Ito looks like again. So here's Ito. This is the star play. You don't actually see the star on this screen. Um, the only um, internationals you get are from this map. So for instance, this guy is Japanese. He probably would be a Japanese international, but you don't actually see him in any internationals on here. So one other tip is to get players who are not Western European because they will always stay with you. Because if you have internationals, they will go off onto international games and you could miss your league game or something like that. So that's uh, what that means. Uh, let's go back to the club info screen again. Again, this is the first screen you'll always see when you go and click on the club. Uh, this is my screen now. So you can see it's a bit different because the club capital, you get how much money you've got. Starting lineup is okay. I put the MO in, the match engine tactical screen and it says it's fine. Uh, you can see the difference if I click on fixtures on my screen, you can see an extra icon and the extra icon is this icon here. That's the, um, the tactic screen. So I've actually pre-programmed my tactics for all the games except for, you can see white means I haven't done these two yet. But let's click on something I have done. Let's go to my first league game, which is not going to be for a while yet. Um, if you click on the little icon, the yellow little box there, I've put in my tactics already and there's my tactics. So, um, for instance, use squad, what squad I'm going to use. I can use my reserves, I can use my first team, second team. It depends what side you want. Tactics, what type of tactics you want to put, what strategy you want to do. And then, do you want to use that same tactic or this for all the remaining games or home division games or away or every single game? So, yeah, if you do this beginning of the season, you don't need to do it again for the rest of the season unless you want to um, obviously change your, want to change your, um, formation if, you, if this formation doesn't work so let's go back a screen and back again uh history is history of the side press you can put a press release if you want uh, sometimes people uh, human managers put press release with just sell 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 and that somehow makes the ai go and look at your side and try to buy some of your players doesn't always work though um so that's that done now you've got some more various little stats here this stats some are here but these are like little quick keys so you've got your squad that is the um, squad screen in your tactics screen so if we click on that this is your tactical screen which is actually this button here so we'll explain these buttons actually that'll probably be easier for you so the first button here it's flashing it's an envelope basically that means that's you I've got mail coming in uh, here's your mail screen the mail that's come in means um, I haven't actually read this one yet. Interview. The Swedish newspaper wants me to do an interview about my side. I don't always say yes, though. I'm going to do a little bit of general housekeeping here because I've read all the rest of this mail. So what I'm doing, I'm going to click all these. And then delete. And that should tidy my inbox a bit. Yep. 
There you go. And you notice that I've read the interview now, so this doesn't flash anymore. Now the next screen is this screen here, which is I think player info screen. These are my options as a player, what I want to do. So you can read all this, you can go on holiday, let the assistant manager, you can resign from the club. Background, content, menu type, this is what all this looks like, the graphical interface basically. You don't need any high power graphics cards to play this. And then you can select whatever you want here. There's my Twitch channel there, which is what this is on at the moment. And you can even type in here. Next one is the hot list. Now the hot list is one feature that hasn't actually been used yet. Eventually, I hope in time, um, the hot list will be like the short list in Football Manager, basically, just exactly the same. One of these players could come up and then they'll man the computer will tell you, oh, uh, this guy's for sale. Do you want to go and look for him? Blah, blah, blah. But that's not being used yet. Next one, the next one, you can see this is flashing as well. This is the transfer screen, the nitty gritty transfer screen. So I'm currently listed a couple of my players because I've just joined this club, so I'm getting rid of some players to bring some players in. And this guy, this icon means he's transfer listed. Two clubs are going for him, both these are AI sides. Um, and so these two players probably are going to leave. This player is going off on loan. Now these are just random AI bids for players. Sometimes AIs will do this and you can either accept it or not accept it. Or you completely ignore it and that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm ignoring this because these will eventually go. You will get them every tick. Contracts. Oh, buying. Sorry. Let's go to buying. Buying is, again, obviously what buying is, is that you... I've gone into the game, I have a transfer list of other countries, and I want to buy some of these players. I've put bids in, um, other clubs have put bids in, you might win them, you might get the player, you might not get the player. Completely random. Contracts, when the player is up for a contract, uh, an existing player is up for a contract, and also a free transfers will appear on here, because free transfer players, you don't buy for a fee, obviously, hence why it's called free transfer. So you just put in a contract bid for them. Again, they might join you, they might not. They might go to Barcelona, because Barcelona are bigger than you. If Barcelona bid it, it, it will appear here. Staff, this is where staff can come and join you. It operates the same as um, free transfer listed players, because you'll see a staff contract list up here. And that's the, yeah, you probably use this icon the most, other than the next one probably. Now the next one obviously is what we've just seen briefly. This is the tactical screen. So we go to tactical screen. Um, I won't show you my, um, I won't show you the second screen of this tactical screen because um, it's going to give away what my, because uh, <laughs> I know some people who are watching this will be current manager sim players. And so I'm not going to show you my tactic screen, so I don't want to give that away, um, even though I've only just started. But obviously, this is your tactic screen where you can put people in certain positions. The formations, there's loads of formations you can choose from. And then you can either pep talk, either press high, hold positions, or defend deep, completely up to you. You can put bonus money in, give them a bit of incentive to win the game or not. Nominate a captain, free kick, corner, penalty taker. And then, yeah put in player so for instance you've got to make sure they're going to the right position or if you for instance if you put a goalie as a striker there'll be a massive penalty um not the actual penalty though uh and so the goalie will probably not do very well as a striker tactics that's where i won't show you that though tactics is where you can instruct players to go into certain areas or go forward and mark wide zone which basically means this player will go there and then there or free roll which means this if you nominate this player to go free roll he then goes all over the pitch no matter what he wants to do but i'm not going to show you that because <laughs> i know some manager sim players might be watching this later on in youtube hello everyone by the way uh so i'm gonna keep that a bit of a mystery and then strategy is um like after certain minutes what do you want to do to a certain player if a certain player is rating in currently in the game at five and you want to put a defender on You'll say, say, after 60 minutes, if a defender's rating is 5, please put new defender on. And that's where you put all that. Next one we've seen already, this is the globe. The globe of Western Europe. 
Ah, much quicker this time. So again, you can select, you can look at every country here that's highlighted, which is bolded. You can look and see what the current league looks like. There's no unbolded countries here. Unbolded countries would meant you could look at a country, but you can't manage in that country. So every single country you see here, you can manage if you want to. Next one is a search. This is a little search engine. So if there's a particular, um, particular player, you know the name or manager, you know, just click him, for instance, managers. You can click in, let's just go Mike Turner. I was already done there. And then go, it's hidden a bit. Go, let the computer think. And there's actually two Mike Turners. So you actually select one of Mike Turner and you might find the Man United Mike Turner. That's how you select that. Next one, this is the who's currently in the game at the right at the moment I'm doing this uh, stream. So currently you've got four managers here. Myself. Now every manager is rated a certain level. We all started off as level one and then the levels go up um, the more successful you get. So some have gone higher up than others. The star ratings here means um, how much they put into their patron. So, for instance, gold means they put a lot of money in their patron to, in this game world. Zeros means they might have a multiple account or um, for various other reasons. So, my my actual account here is not my patron account, but I've got two accounts. My patron account is actually linked to my um, YouTube series account, which I generally do this on, which is the uh, Lord Donut account. And there he is, and you can see he's got a little star there. So here's who's currently in the game at the moment. And then we've got the ranking system. Again, who's got the highest ranked? So I'm expecting Dave Middleton to be one of the highest rankers because he was, uh, that's rankers, by the way, um, because he had won a lot at Barcelona. Yeah, he's at Liverpool at the moment. So he's currently ranked number one. Manager, manager rankings don't really mean that much, to be honest with you, but it's just nice to see who gets points. I'm... But of course, if a manager does well, he gets points. If he does badly, he loses points. So, for instance, uh, my two accounts are not really very high up. Uh, in fact, my main Mark Doni account is actually going up because I'm actually making better choices now. And uh, he's only one place below my Lord Donut account. Oh, that's interesting. Um, we've currently got in this game, well, we've currently got about 43 managers. Not every single person here is a person, though. If that doesn't make sense because some people have multiple accounts as well um, if they're allowed if they pay enough money they can have more than one account makes sense so that's the manager rankings and then also you can see the uh, level rankings which is done by clicking levels and now again what I said about um, level rankings they're only really used when you want to join a big side so as I thought, Dave is top with 17, level 17. Uh, if you click on the name here, you can see he's level 17 and how much percentage is he currently? 28.4%. So it's going to take a while for him to get to level 18. Again, this percentage rises with trophies, winning trophies, making good transfer deals, having a good at financial budget in your side so your side never goes bankrupted. If your side goes bankrupted, then... Um, you give, you give them a couple of ticks to try to get that in credit, but if it keeps going bankrupted and your club goes bankrupted, you get fired instantly. Also, if you do not go into your side after two weeks, real time, you get booted. So yeah, that's rankings. The next one is, these are the forums. So people can just chat here. Forums are um, not as used as they used to. They used to be used a lot. But you can see here, even I've done a post about Beyond the Phoenix, which was my Manager Sim series. Worth watching, by the way. And ah, thanks, Lewis, for the kind words. I'm glad people are liking it. And there's been po oh Benin's birthday I think was today yes ah, the creator's birthday today happy birthday and the last one is this one here I won't click on it I think it's another um, way of getting people to chat to people I'm actually not logged into this so I can't really click on it um, Phoenix oh, okay no it's not Phoenix so 
I won't click on that one because I'm not a member of that. And that one, that icon there is to leave the game. So there you go. So let's carry on looking at these. So basically we're going to coaches and physios next. Now each side depends on how big your side is or how small your side, you might have some coaches and physios. I'm at Harmby, I've only just started. So currently I've got two coaches and they are coach. So Jacob is coaching in fitness endurance. Well, Tiori is in coaching in fitness endurance. That's good enough. Um, again, these stats are rated between zero and 100. So they're pretty decent. I need to get new coaches. Oh yeah, because I'm, I just received a mail in my inbox last tick saying, well, my coach has just retired. So I do need to get a new coach. Um, so obviously you can go into one of his coaches. You can change their orders if you want to. So we just do that quickly. I'm not going to actually change the order. I'm just going to let you show you. So you can coach the players. You can examine a team. I can examine teams in Sweden or go to another country. You click next. So I'm going to coach players. You'll get another screen coming up in a minute. Again, the server is a bit slow today, hence why it looks like we're playing this on an 8-bit machine at the moment. <laughs> so you can select all these icons for this certain position that will highlight certain needs. You can see a lot of these have been ticked, but some of these have not been ticked, so I'm going to go and tick them in anyway. So they will do fitness as well. I think these are new signings, that's probably why and new youth players. So they're going in fitness endurance. So yeah, my mic is still working good. Click apply. And then that should all have, they should all be blue in a minute. Yep. Go to TAV, to your, the Omri. <laughs> I can't say his name. Why can't I say his name? That guy. <laughs> Again, these are new signings, so I'm I bought some of these players. I've also loaned some players to my team to try. Ah, my mic keeps turning itself off. <laughs> I think it's it's on low energy at the moment. So I got. So I got to keep checking to see if it's working. I think it's on low energy. That's probably why. Um, yeah, so I'm, char I'm trying to charge it at the moment. So. so physios is the next thing we'll look at. So physios obviously is the guys who try to fix your players. We've got currently one player injured. So we'll go to change orders on here. And uh, so you can heal the person, select the icon, heal whoever, and then low, medium or high, and then click apply. And then scouts. I don't normally use scouts myself, but you can use scouts if you want to. So you can see there's no scouts here. You can you can get a scout to join your side and then they can go and look for players you want to get or look on the free transfer market. So Youth Academy is the next one we'll look at. Youth Academy, you can put money into the Youth Academy. I've got a lot of money, hence why I put a lot of money in to try to get my Youth Academy up to the standard 15 players. Uh, youth academies are random. You might get some good players. You might not get some good players. That will vary per club. Commonly is your finance screen. So I've actually got quite a lot of money. I've been spending a lot of money though. So hence why it's gone straight back down and the expenses has gone up because I've been investing in some players. Stadium is your stadium. Obviously here you can put the ticket price and also um, if you want to increase your stadium. My stadium has been built a little bit more anyway, so I can't put anything there. So that's quite good. 
uh, selling buying contract staff is what you've just seen in the transfer list um, button up here transfer list itself is a different screen though and here this is where you can buy players or loan players so for instance they'd be listed for transfer or listed for loan so you can't buy this player you can loan this player oh, he's actually one of my players and then in each country you have the actual league the abroad transfer so this means this is Swedish players playing abroad at the moment um, in various other countries so you can see there now some of these you can see are free these are free transfer listed Swedish players and their previous club so you can go and buy these players some you might get some real good bargains here and then um, the free transfers obviously this is the free transfer market I spend a lot of time in here trying to find the right bargains but you really need to look at these stats if you've got good all-rounders you might get some here you might get some players rated in the 90s here and they will be getting yeah people get them quite quickly uh, you can sort it out if you're just looking for midfielders you can use midfielders you can select for instance center and then press search and then you just get all the midfield center players here so it's a good little uh, engine here you can't sort by age sadly um, be nice to have an age one on here but you can't at the moment um, club info we looked at club staff stats club stats is again that graph which is going to be empty at the moment yeah it is club history club history is always good to look at especially if it's managed by a human player you can see what they've been doing so you can see I've only I joined in June 20 23 June 22nd so I've only been at this club for about three weeks but you can see I've already started making changes to the side bringing some loanies and some players my top player now is Agres Tazi he's going to be my new striker and you can see I've only just bought him for 140 million which is a lot I know uh, but his true value is going to probably be something like 20 million stuff like that but you can see why I bought him he, he should be he should do really well in Sweden he's an international as well and um, yeah should do really well here uh, then you've got uh, players abilities is the screen you have already seen which shows you all their stats of each of the players and then from here you can also get it from here as well so player stats this is very good as the season goes on you can see who's scoring the most goals who's doing the most assists who's getting the most red and yellow cards and also if they're international shows you their caps and also where they come from with these flags contracts contracts is uh, how much their wages are being paid so my highest wager is not my no, is my top uh, striker 75 grand a week but my wage bill is quite low so I can manage that miscellaneous is literally everything else that's not on these other screens is on this screen uh, so it shows you his form his morale his status his adaptability now if players come very unhappy like there's a couple of very unhappy players here then what I normally do is I let them go off on sort of like leave for a little while so for instance this guy here Heltman Erkan Heltman is very unhappy so I want to boost his morale a bit because he can make things very difficult if he always well, been transferred this is probably why so I'm going to select the interactive menu here select interactive you've got various options to do various things here uh, you can give them warnings you can tell them no wages if you want to you can even change position but that's to do with patron points which if you're in the demo world you don't have to worry about that so I'm going to take give them two off weeks paid leave and hope to see you more motivated when you come back and let's see if that changes unhappy to something else and it lets you no he's still unhappy oh no he was very unhappy wasn't he he's now unhappy so he's slightly slightly more cheerful <laughs> I guess and then the last screen you hear has got player cards these are the the stats screen to show how many uh, red and yellow cards they are have got and if they're going to be suspended or not uh, as the season's just beginning there'll be nothing here but also just bear notice you can see how many stars I've got I've got a few more stars than a uh, Moldovan side um, and they do slightly vary so we've got a gold star here so Ingelson here is probably our most popular person Turtsy is the second most because that's slightly different color so let's go for Ingerson anyway yeah Ingerson is a home product star striker this is when a youth 
striker comes in and he's really good. So he's been developed well by the previous manager. Um, I think my side did have a human manager before, didn't they? Or oh, maybe not, because it would have shown here. So he's been a youth player since 2019. He's already scored, yeah, close to 100 goals for the club already. He, look at that season there, 36 games, 44 goals. It's a really good season. But the problem is he's not going to get into my side because I've just bought a really big striker. I've got 200 shooting range strikers here. So, yeah, Ingleson will definitely appear a lot, but not as much as he hoped. So hopefully um, that means I'll keep him in the side. Um, so that's player miscellaneous players cards. Division table is obvious. Division table is what the division table looks like at the moment. This is in, we're in Sweden, uh, so we only have one division, and we also have the cup, and that shows you all the cup fixtures and who wins the cup. And uh, you do get money for that as well. Divisional fixtures that's like your fixture list, but this is just for the games coming up, friendly games, and then league games will eventually be here. We're in the uh, pre-season at the moment, so you only see friendly games. Newspaper. Newspaper is a nice little addition that's been around since the beginning of time. This gives you highlights of players that have just bought, been bought in your league. So I've just bought Felipe, so it's the main headline. And also any um, manager, managerial diff, uh, changes. So for instance, if someone else came into the Swedish league, you'll see their name appear here. And then some rumours that I am... Um, is my that's Hanby's my team are we talking to Marseille we probably are talking to Marseille to get this player so it's it's worth looking at other countries newspapers to see what rumors are coming up Ooh. international cups now this is the some teams are lucky they can play in Champions League the Champions League does is in this game um, two group uh, it's in two groups then quarterfinals semi-finals and final but it even starts a qualifying one so it's this is probably the full version of the champions league uefa cup now some of you are probably wondering what is the uefa cup uefa cup was the predecessor to the europa league so europa league is not in this it's and it's just a, a standard european uefa cup very easy to understand from qualifying round three to the final and then we've got a cup that's now extinct toto cup well uefa cup is extinct as well toto cup does not exist anymore this was a cup competition that was devised for get countries into european competitions kind of like the europa league is now in some ways um, and all the winners of the toto cup go into the uefa cup so that's it and then the final button and the final bit of the stream is the stack computer now we are going well back in time here so we're um stack computer you can look back and see other countries who um, previous leagues previous seasons who won what um who managed what and you can see commodore 64 basic <laughs> i think that's taking the mickey out of the commodore 64 a bit there but there you go, let's go back to our club info screen. So that is basically a quick look at Manager Sim. Uh, and it was done on my Twitch. So I will move the two parts now into my YouTube channel and we'll release them at the next date. So I will now go and try to sort out my sound problems. So thanks for, if anyone was here, thanks for lurking. And I'll chat to you soon.